Hey. So, you're in the game? Alright. So there are a few things you should know. You've just beaten the playoffs and that's got you a seat into the Invitational of Rookie Rampage. They're far from the most prestigious group out there, don't get me wrong. But, the location is going to be special. So have you ever been on a plane before? No? Well you got a long trip ahead buddy. Because that's exactly what I wanted to meet you here for. And it's this here. You, my friend, are going to Nevada. Make sure not to lose this ticket or you'll have to pay for it yourself. Oh, and your golf can stay at home. They'll supply you with a ride there. Yeah, you better get used to traveling. Like, we'll, we have festival sites planned all across the globe. Like, we're talking Chicago, Mondello Park, Tokyo. You'll like it, you'll see. Well, anyway, I gotta get going. Uh, make sure not to lose it, as I said. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh, and don't forget to bring sunscreen. <laughs> oh, and here's a quick in case you missed it. We have Nick Cooper who's come back after. One driver I am definitely going to keep my eyes on is Nick Cooper. The guy is just like
speed, skill, and control, the guy can do it all. So get ready to make some noise. You know, my buddy James and I were talking about our favorite drivers on the festival so far, and every single time I just gotta bring up Nick. Sorry about the early call. I'm sure the jet lag must be killing you. But there's something important I gotta talk to you about. Are you free this afternoon? Hey! <laughs> Looks like you didn't get sunburned. Congrats. So there are a few things that I gotta talk to you about now that you're in the game. You see, while you might win over the crowd with your skills, there are also folks that see people like you as a threat. To their image, their bank account, doesn't really matter. Those folks that I'm talking about are the current kings, basically masters of their class who don't want any threat to their reputation. And while you're out there smashing records, people will eventually forget about the kings and look more your way. And eventually, they might want to take you up on a duel to show the world who the best driver is. Alright, here's where things get interesting. These kings, they're despicable. Everyone on the inside knows they are up to no good, and they deceive the public eye to hide their true intentions. First up, we got Raven West, led by Nathan McCain. 
These guys ran in the Grid World Series not too long ago and got kicked out because they were exposed for circumventing racing regulations. Simply put, they are cheaters and Nathan is the biggest fraud of them all. After all the controversies have passed, they are now trying their luck in the Pepega Street Festivals, trying to get their foot in the door. Some whistleblowers on the inside have leaked some of their future plans and they plan to buy up the entire event. If this happens, they are free to bend regulations and rules however they see fit and it could mark the end of fair racing as we know it. I don't want to see a world where spectacle gets put over the integrity of the sport and I'm sure you don't either. You might recognize these blokes. They are the old Top Gear crew who migrated into the Grand Tour a few years back. After the show's cancellation they have decided to try their luck in street racing which didn't last long either. Now they opened up a racing team under the Top Gear banner. It didn't take long for the drag races to get a massive audience. After all, almost everyone wants to see them drive in person. However, only 9 out of 10 races get published. Occasionally, a few events just evaporate into dust, with the reason being a cancellation. This is nothing but a lie to cover up what actually happens on these occasional events. You see, the Top Gear guys are quite old at this point. Old enough where their sight, reaction times and motoring functions are starting to give in. So every now and then, they cause massive fatal accidents with the audience that would otherwise end their racing career entirely. However, they have everyone who joins these events sign an NDA so no one can tell the true story about what really happens on these events without getting sued out of their life savings. Someone needs to put an end to this. Next on the list we got Ken Block and Monster Energy. They have been active in all kinds of racing for years and are now trying to probe their way into our event. It's no lie that Ken got massive skills and he's pretty open about this being his final showing. He's trying to build a retirement fund and he needs Monster Energy as a sponsor to do so. And it's the sponsor here with some truly heinous secrets. Monster Energy is currently working on a new formula for their energy drinks that is attempting to get their consumers addicted to their cans. They are planning a massive overtake of every vending machine, food booth and even restaurants in the area. All they care about is profits. The health of the people on the festival sites is none of their concern. Although Ken is aware of their plans, his hands are tied because he wants to retire. He's since then been looking for an adequate opponent he can lose to without it looking staged. And once Monster Energy loses their poster boy, their plans will falter along with it. Last but not least, we got the Hotshots, led by Crew HS. They are a newly formed team of former content creators turned street racers. This is where things get personal for me. I used to be Crew's right hand man back when we were still off the grid but his greed and corruption made me turn against him. Kuro has a long history of deception, manipulation and even brainwashing. But that's something for another day. He since then lost all his street cred, so he had nowhere to go to but go professional. He must have come here specifically in hopes of getting closer to me. I don't know what he intends to do, but it can't be anything good. Look, I helped you when we first met. And now I'm gonna need your help to keep him away from me. You got all that? Look, I know I'm asking a lot, but we have to deal with these things discreetly. The high ups won't let me intervene because of the controversies it may cause, you know? And the only way to do it discreetly is to beat them fair and square. You think you're up for that? Awesome! Alright! Alright, let's do it then. Let's take back the festival.